prices continue to go up, more drivers are considering more fuel efficient alternatives like hydrogen. Cars powered by hydrogen fuel cells are a key part of California's plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and new clean air standards that go into effect in 2035. CBS 8's Richard Allen looks at the pluses and minuses of the new and developing tech. Well, that's right. If you own a hydrogen powered vehicle, this shell station along Carmel Valley Road is currently the only place in the county to refuel. And while that is a drawback, drivers we spoke with who have switched to hydrogen say there are plenty of advantages. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I recommend it. For San Diego and Q Lamb, buying this used Toyota Mirai was not only an environmentally conscious decision with water vapor as the only fuel exhaust, but also an economic one. It's nice that you're not harming the earth, but at the same time, for me, it was a price point. While a new hydrogen powered car can cost upward of $50,000, federal and state tax rebates can knock more than 12,000 off that. Some dealers have even thrown in a fuel card for $15,000 worth of hydrogen fuel. Q says it costs him about $65 to fill up his tank, which he says gives him 270 miles. Although other drivers say they can get three to 400. Drivers say that's a good deal as gas prices continue to drive upward. So if you're comparing, you know, to the gasoline, this is a much, much better deal. Solana Beach resident and Toyota Mirai owner Michael Tang agrees. Like when I bought it, it was like four fifty a gallon for regular gasoline. I'm like, oh, you know, still felt good about, you know, kind of the eco-friendly vibe about it. But uh, now that the prices are going up, definitely, you know, feeling good financially as well about that decision. These drivers also appreciate that it takes only minutes to refuel their hydrogen vehicles instead of the hours it takes to recharge an electric vehicle. There are now more than 12,000 hydrogen powered vehicles registered in California, but the current lack of filling stations poses a major hindrance. We did have a period of about four years where no stations were funded. And so right now we're working to kind of catch up. Michael Tang believes more drivers will opt for hydrogen in the coming years, especially if gas prices keep climbing. I think as the infrastructure gets there, definitely. It's still early days. And that infrastructure locally is beginning to expand. A new hydrogen filling station is expected to open up in Mission Valley in the next few months, while three others are planned throughout the county in the coming years.